no family in Britain which doesn't have someone who's been damaged by alcohol through addiction, through violence, traffic accidents. Almost every family in Britain is affected. We know there's a problem, but we don't talk about it because hiding away the problems has been something we've been very, become very expert at. My main role is to educate psychiatrists and other doctors about what I'm doing. As a brain scientist, that's what I want to understand. I want to understand the brain. And alcohol is a very interesting probe of different brain systems. In the Western cultures, alcohol is the most harmful drug overall because it's the most harmful drug to society because it's the most widely used drug. So it's just part of life. It's part of, because we don't want to face what for many people is their own drug problem and we don't want to talk about it. You're encouraged to drink it. The government allows advertising. The governments don't want us to talk. That's why I was sacked. We want to talk about it in the Misuse of Drugs Act. And they said, you can't. And the Home Office said, we don't want you to. You want people just to understand it as a drug and a substance and to use it in an optimal way. Right? Absolutely. And that's why I said it. If you do drink, there's no reason to increase. And if you want to cut back, that's always better. And now people do know the facts. And now they know the facts. They want to talk about it. Now we have a proper, open, independent discussion about drugs.